you notice that Tommy scared to death the girls? He should be afraid of girls. They pretend to like you, and then they take all your stuff. Okay. <laughs> Which one takes Ginkgo before bed? You know what, Allison? I would really appreciate it if you didn't quiz me about my own kids, huh? okay? It's Tommy. Mm -hmm. Louise. I know it's Tommy. It's Louise. It's Tommy. Hey, hey. It's Tommy. It's Tommy. One capsule right before bed with plenty of water. That's Louise. It's Louise. I know it's Louise. See? It's Louise. Isn't he great? He bakes his own bread. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, I buy my bread at the store. I support America. Je vais faire un exam du français. That's fantastic. Too bad we're never going to Germany. I will offer my keen insight. Yeah, no offense, Crandall. I don't think so. I mean, come on. You married my ex-wife. You can't be much smarter than I am. Oh! Cello, Allison. You are too much of a job for one woman. <laughs> If you ever want to write that on a bathroom wall or maybe oh, send out a mass email to all my friends, that would be great. And Gary, I um I have to I have to deposit these. Could you please stop writing this as a hold up on the memo line? <laughs> Come on, I got you on the news. Look. It's my TV day, and this is our government in action. Yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> You know, it'd be a lot more interesting if you could vote someone off. You can, idiot. Every two years. There you go. Steady. All right. What do you think? I'm blindfolded. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Don't feel ridiculous. Is there a problem in here? Yeah. This man touched my naked body. Yeah, but that, that wasn't fun for me either. <laughs> You have to come with us, sir. All right, look, I don't want to have to do this, fella, but uh, I'm Officer Brooks Vice. I'd like to speak to the owner. I am the owner. Well, in that case, these are for you. Excuse me. Where have you been? Uh, sorry, Pop. The Plymouth got a flat on the way home from the record store. We had to hitch it the whole way back. What's going on with you, Tom? Sit down. I'm sitting down. Relax. What did you say to Vanessa at the party? She walked away and she looked upset. She didn't say goodbye to me. Well, I, uh... You know, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I just want you to fix it, and I want you to fix it now. <laughs> Let's play some hoops, ladies! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I bought these in bulk, so you might. So did I tell you that my ex-husband wants to buy her son a dirt bike? Well, that's awesome. Lee, bad, awesomely bad idea. <laughs> Walter and I are uh, having a little party tonight to celebrate his brilliant new book. It's called Round Two of Your Life. It's a how-to guide focusing on new relationships after divorce. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to not read it. <laughs> yes, it is. It's our anniversary. I know, because I got you a gift online, and it's still being shipped. But I have a tracking number. It's 11. <laughs> If you do this, not only can you have your party at my house, but I will, I will cook, and I will flirt, and I will guarantee you six new jobs. Eight. Six. Eight. Six. Eight. Seven. Fifty. What? No, fine, 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 eight. Fine, eight. Louise, do you have any idea how many flies die on my windshield every time I drive you to the recycling center? It's a classic Hobson's choice, Dad. That's how we're going to handle this? I say something clever, and then you say something I don't understand? <laughs> Why don't you go wait in the car, smarty? <laughs> I gotta tell you, okay? You're beautiful. I know. <laughs> Scotty's totally trying to get on my good side. Yesterday, his lazy eye went straight on me. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you that starting tomorrow is that thing I told you about last week. Oh, yeah, the thing. Yeah. You have no idea what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, the thing. No, I don't know. I told you. If you want me to really remember something, you have to make it rhyme and oh. turn it into a catchy tune. <laughs> I was hired to be a research assistant on a project that's cool, so I need you to drop off and pick up the kids at their school for the next six weeks. Yeah, I can't do it. What? Uh, Allison, it's Gary. I have the answer to all your problems, you know, except for your uh, stretch marks and your screechy voice. 
They must have gotten disconnected or something. Hey, sweetie. Where you been? Uh, at a bar. I know you probably made uh, dinner and everything, but I already filled up on wings and beer, and if you're mad, I don't care. Speaking of smell, what are you wearing? It's just fantastic. Oh, thanks. It's uh, Clive Christian number one. Mm -hmm. Over $2,000 a bottle. I got it at a boutique in London. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Check this out. Ivory soap, 49 cents. <laughs> Got it at a Big Lots in Tarzana. Honey, your Uncle Taylor lost his job and his money. And, and his mind. Gary. <laughs> Sanitize the ball when you rolled it the last time. Yeah, well, I don't know what happens to it once it disappears back there. <laughs> All right, here we go. We missed him by like 11 kilometers. <laughs> Little fella came on board with us. He was our mascot for the next eight months. Aww. Yeah. Till Christmas, then we ate him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We didn't eat him. <laughs> Let me switch to my grenade launcher. Do I have to say this? You can't have fun until the work is done. It's a good one, Scary Poppins. <laughs> this is not over. It never is. 